Hello everyone, here today we have the Jingpad A1, a device made by the Chinese-based company Jingling. It is placed into the market as a first of its kind, being the first consumer-based Linux tablet with a nice build quality and easy-to-use software. It began its life as a concept post on the r slash Linux subreddit which has been given mixed messages at first. In the typical r slash Linux fashion, everyone was skeptical at first, due to it being a new competitor in the market and the potential of it being another empty box of Indiegogo promises. But here it is, right in front of us. Throughout the production process, I've actually been close with the JingOS community, and I should also state that I am an admin of the Discord and Telegram. However, this does not create bias, as I am not being paid for my words, and this is only a loan device. However, after the review period, I may purchase the device. This only being my first impressions and unboxing of the device, I should state that currently, at the time of recording, which is the 4th of November 2021, there is a pending update to come on the 7th, in which will likely fix many of the software bugs and inconsistencies. I will most likely be holding off of a second video until this update is released as to ensure I don't have any issues which are based on the early software build. Taking off the lid of the box, in which was more difficult for me due to a quite large dent in the box, potentially due to shipping damage, we are first met with the nice feeling folio cover which is included with the drink pad, as well as the included pen and tablet itself. Putting this aside, and we can have a look at the other accessories included in the box. We'll first see a SIM eject tool, then two other things, the included USB-A to USB-C cable, as well as the included 9 volt 2 amp power adapter. Unfortunately for me, this is useless in my country, as I'm in Australia where our sockets look like this and our voltage is very different. This is no issue though, as I have many other adapters which will work, and the tablet supports USB-C PD. Now putting everything aside, we can have a look at the tablet and the included folio cover and pen. Firstly, looking at the pen, we see our charging port, removable tip, and the action pen on the button. Taking out the tablet and putting the folio aside, it comes wrapped in a nice silky plastic similar to Apple's packaging on the iPad Pro series. After removing this, we see the sticker on the back, showing us the model of the tablet as well as our serial number. This is also our first look at the pads for the pins on the keyboard cover as well as the nice glossy back with the pattern design. Up in the top corner, we can also see the 16 megapixel camera and flash unit. Next box, we have the JingPad keyboard, which thankfully came with a small tear in the plastic which makes it easier to open. And now, with the plastic off, we can slide off the top box to have a look at the keyboard cover wrapped in plastic. Taking it out of the box and now unwrapping it, we get a nice sticker telling us to remove the tablet from the keyboard using the bottom right corner, as well as removing the cardboard layer providing a nice insert to the keyboard cover. Placing the tablet onto the keyboard cover and turning it on, the experience begins. Firstly, I kind of looked dumb. When I first saw the screen with starting now, I kind of assumed it was still preparing the out-of-box experience. But no, this is actually the first stage of setup. I was incorrect, however, clicking starting now then brings us to the first step of the setup process, where we'll configure our language, username, password, locale settings, Wi-Fi settings, and then we are finally prompted with whether we want to share telemetry data with Jingling. This is completely up to the user and can be denied if you want. And that is really it for the unboxing and first look of the JingPad A1 hardware. I really hope you enjoyed watching, and if you did and want to see more of the A1, or just this cool topic of hardware and software in general, please do subscribe because more content will be coming very soon. And as always, stay safe.